Hi Paul, this is Jay Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're looking at the resurrection of Christ and objections to the resurrection of Christ uh, from skeptics. Um, skeptics will tell you that there are no real evidence for the Christian faith. But actually, you can actually take the intellectual tools of historians, the basic tools that they use and criteria, and use those objective tools to look at the historicity of Christ and you can come in and up in, come up with in an objective way that Jesus Christ rose from the dead using purely historical method uh, historical methods so for example um, we know that there are Pauline epistles such as 1 Corinthians and Galatians which are Pauline which were wrote by the Apostle Paul no scholars no no reputed scholars really um, the, the vast majority of scholars would agree with that statement so we have this primary source material that tells us about the early church and what they believed you know Paul was hostile to um, the Christian faith and yet he was an eyewitness of the resurrection of Christ uh, he was operating early on in the movement of the early church from around about AD 32 onwards. The secondly, Paul knew um, the disciples of Jesus, so whatever he believed, he was able to check it with early, earlier sources than himself, uh, which is Jesus' disciples. And number three, he was able to check this on a few occasions with those disciples whether what he was teaching was correct and all this is founded and based on historical information it's also backed up by more historical information by one Clement and Polycarp um, these uh, uh, Clement was a disciple of Peter and Polycarp a disciple of John and these attest to the Apostle Paul as being uh, a, a teacher of the church and giving significance and weight to the Apostle Paul as having the authority to teach uh, as an apostle. In other words, we have other extra biblical material that attest to the historical veracity that the Apostle Paul uh, was keyed into what the early church believed. Now the significance of that is is quite astounding because the skeptics in order to attack the New Testament have to take a stance that the message of Jesus is a development of the early church in a mythological construct. The problem is with having the early source of the Apostle Paul and being able to verify this both in his letters and ex out of extra biblical sources such as Clement Polycarp what that means is there isn't enough time or uh, clear evidence that myth was not able to develop in other words the structure of the early message of the church was clear right from the start and didn't develop over time mythologically and that is astounding and is backed up by good, solid historiography. Thank you.